doing? It's Chris Turner. I'm here at Centennial Beach looking for a lost ring that was lost three days ago. This ring was lost. Thankfully, the husband counts from where the ring was lost to the shore. And look how far away the shore is, you guys. Now, I've got a red marker out there. You're never going to see it. I could barely see it myself. And I'm lined up. The camera's basically on the spot. If it wasn't for the husband giving me the exact distance from where the ring was lost to the shore, I would have no chance. Uh, you can see how far the tide goes out. Still like another half a mile out there. So try to tell somebody you've lost a ring and find it when it's this huge of an area. He's narrowed it down. I believe I'm gonna find it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye now. It's just 5 a.m. right now and uh, I'm excited. I love these searches. This is a heck of a challenge and uh, I'm up for it. Let's see how long this one takes. It's uh, really exciting. I've been here about 25 minutes and I've got a signal. I'm trying to think now a tin can. It's in this scoop here. Come on, no can. Ah, tin can. Middle of nowhere, beer can. I'm not quite sure, it's probably 11. Been here five hours, and uh, that's the search. If you can see it way out there, you probably can't, but uh, one, two, three, four, five rolls I did, and uh, over 150 yards across. I'm really hoping I can find it. I know how much it means to these people. Thanks for watching. This is round two, round two of this search for a uh, lady's diamond ring at Centennial Beach. And we have Ryan, her husband, up ahead of me there, walking and gritting off. So now I'll see his perspective and where he believes he was. This is gonna hopefully help tremendously because he can do the pace as he remembered. And we're here before the extreme low tide, so it gives him a bit of water to walk in and make it feel the same. So. 200 so uh, yeah I'm excited this I hope gets us in the area where we can find the ring so stay with us round two Ryan just left he had a few things to do he gave me his perspective of where he believes the ring is as you can see out here well maybe you can't but uh, I performed about an hour and a half grid now I'm doing a north-south now an east-west and uh, hopefully we can get this ring he's narrowed it down now I just gotta guess how far off he is with his count because of the level of the water and how it could have slowed his pace down. Thanks for watching, we're gonna find this one. I've been here close to six hours. This is my second search for this ring. Now that's a total of 11 hours and no luck. You can see the grid I've done. Uh, all those little mounds are little positioning for north, south, east-west grid so you see lines going this way and this way this way and this way and it looks like it looks like a checkerboard and if you look I've done it where this gentleman said he believes it could be this is the hot area all the way there and all the way around there and out into the water as well spent 11 hours and no ring. I'm gonna call in the big hitters. I'm gonna call in my friend Phil, Jerry, and we're gonna try to grid search this. Now, he marked off the area from from the beach to here where, uh, where I'm searching and I didn't find it. So if he's off by 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 yards on this count, that could be the difference of me finding this ring. So I'm going to uh, pack it in today and search again another day. Thanks for watching. Just to let you know, I don't always find what I'm looking for. 